Let's say that you just set up a Popcorn Flow board as you see here. Congratulations. But now, how do you use it? Well, as you can see, the first column is called Problems and Observations. If you try to accomplish anything in your life, I'm sure you'll face many obstacles along the way. Or you may be presented with an opportunity and you want to explore it. So write down a small problem that you face in your life right now. It could be something personal, something that you share at work with your team, or maybe at home with your family. So as an example, here's a problem that my five-year-old kid had recently. He found an acorn and wanted to grow an oak tree in the garden, but he didn't know how. Once the problem is written down, the next step is called options. Not the one solution, options. I like to think about three or more options to address the problem, since it's almost never a good idea to just go with the only one you have. In this story, the first option was to just do it. Dig a hole, throw in an acorn, cover it, give it plenty of water and pray. The second option we came up with was to phone a friend. Our friend, Sarah, knows everything about gardening. So we were pretty sure that she would give us a tip or two. My wife proposed another option. How about we go to the library and find a suitable book? That seemed like an excellent idea. Until, of course, my son said, let's just Google it. <laughs> At that point, I said, OK, but let's make an experiment. You see, an option is a direction, an hypothesis about how to address a problem. But an experiment is a concrete step to explore that direction. So the action was, let's Google it. The reason, because, you know, just coming from the problem, we don't know how to plant an acorn. The expectation was, well, we'll find a video within 10 minutes, and after watching the video, we'll know how to plant our acorn in the garden. Of course, there is a bunch of other experiments that we could have created to explore this or other options, but we committed to this one to do next. We launched the experiment straight away, so we moved the ticket to the ongoing column. We found immediately what we were looking for, a nice explanatory video. Unexpectedly, we discovered that if you put the acorn in a glass full of water, you can quickly assess the condition of the acorn. If it floats, it should be discarded. It might be damaged, eaten by a bug, and so on. So with a bit of excitement and apprehension, we did the test. And guess what? It floated. My son was extremely disappointed by the discovery and cried. But then I said, hold on, I know that you are disappointed, but let's review what we've learned. I moved the ticket on the review column and asked, what experiments did we do? What did we expect to happen? That we would find the video and that we would know how to plant the acorn in the garden. So what actually happened? We discovered that our acorn is not good by just throwing it in a glass of water. That was a great discovery. It would have been much worse if we planted it without knowing that it was bad. So based on what we learned, what could we do next? So we thought about that and we decided that we could go, go back to the place where we found the original acorn and bring a glass of water with us. And so we did. I hope that this simple real life example gave you a taste of how popcorn flow can help in many aspects of your life. Personally, I use different popcorn flow boards. As you can see from this example, I have a board in the sitting room to play with my kids. I have one for my own projects. And of course, I create one for each team I work with, from software development, sales, and even schools and special need kids, you name it. I'm only scratching the surface here. But whenever you want to introduce change for yourself and others, or enable rapid decision making, I hope you'll consider setting up a park on floor board as an experiment. After all, if you make it sweet and short, what do you have to lose, really?